friends welcome to FreeCAD tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn the 3d modeling in uh, FreeCAD as you can see that uh, I have uh, converted this uh, drawing into the 3d model with the help of a uh, part design workbench and I will show you from the scratch how you can do the same in FreeCAD so I will close this file and I create a new file you can also visit my website macnexus.com where I write articles and tutorials on FreeCAD. You can download my tutorial source file from the here. If you like my method of teaching then please support me on coffee.com. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Your small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on FreeCAD. I will provide my website and my Ko-Fi donation page link in a video description. So let's come back to our tutorial. And here I have activated my part design workbench. Now I will click on create body. And now I will press the space bar and on my origin plane. Now I will select this uh, top plane and click on the sketch. And now I will off this origin plane and now the first thing which we will do is to create this base profile so we will first create a rectangle and now we will give the symmetricity constraint by choosing this point this point and middle point and now the give the dimensions this horizontal is a 70 which we can see here and the vertical is a 60 60 and now our uh, sketch is fully constrained so we will come out of the sketch and now we will uh, create the pad of uh, 7.5 mm which we can see here so we can select the pad options and give the dimension 7.5 click on OK and now the next operation we will do is to create a fillet on these four edges so we will select the fillet option and select the edges we will select all these four edges and fillet is of R15 so we will give here 15 mm dimension and click on OK switch to the home view and now we will create this middle profile so for this we will select the mid plane so we will on our plane and we will select this exit plane and create our sketch now we will go to the model tab and of the origin plane and from here we will switch to the wireframe and now first we will project the required geometry so we will project all this geometry and now the first thing which we will do is to create a circle which is of a diameter 50 so we will give the 50 and now select the line tool create a line and now merge this point with this point and add the tangency relation here and then add the coincidence and now we will give the dimension of a 29 from this point to this point and horizontal dimension from this point to this point is of 5 mm which you can see here 29 and 5 now I will move the dimensions and now I will select the line tool create a line and now first we will trim this one and this one and this one 
and we will see what is done constraint so here I will select these two points and click on the merge and this we will give as a vertical constraint so you can see that uh, it is constrained but uh, we will uh, trim off this geometry and uh, we will close our profile so we will again click on the trim we will trim it and we will merge this point with this point say merge so you can see that uh, our uh, sketch is uh, fully constrained and now we will uh, create the pad of uh, 10 mm so we will come out of the sketch and uh, click on the pad and from here we will switch to the flat lines and from here we will select symmetric to the plane and uh, click on ok now the next thing which we will do is to create this rib so for this we will uh, create a datum plane at the distance of uh, 31 so we will select this face click on the datum plane and in a z direction we will give the 31 so it is going in a positive direction so we will change this to the negative we will close it and now we will create our uh, sketch on this datum plane so we will select the datum plane and uh, click on the sketch and now we will switch to the isometric and now here we will project the geometry so we will click on the project geometry and this one and now here we will create this rib so this rib is of uh, 20 mm 20 by 20 mm so we will switch to the right plane and we will switch to the wireframe so some of the dimension I am assuming which is missing in a drawing so I will create a rectangle and now I will select this one and give the 20 mm and select the vertical give the 20 mm and we will close it and we will click on the pad so pad we will give the in a reverse direction so we will reverse it and the pad thickness is of 8 mm click on ok now I will off the datum plane switch to the flat lines and now we will mirror this rib on the other side so we will select the pad click on the mirror and from here we will click on the select reference and we will select this mid plane click on ok now switch to the isometric now the next job is that uh, we will uh, create this hole so we will select this face and click on the sketch click on project geometry project the outer edge and click on the circle create a circle and give it a diameter dimension of uh, 25 click on ok now click on the cut and say true all say ok and now we will create this feature so for this we will uh, select this face and uh, click on the sketch and we will project this outer and inner this outer edge and this one now we will uh, create a three point arc or we can create a circle as well so we will better to create a circle and select this and this and make it equal and again select the circle create a circle and make this and this as equal and now 
here we will uh, create a three point arc similar to like this and we will add the tangency here and we will also add the tangency here and from this to this horizontal dimension is of uh, 2.5 and here we will also create a three point arc and now we will add the tangency relation here tangency and uh, from here we will switch to the wireframe and we will project these two edges click on the project and we will create we will delete this arc first and we will create a line joining these two points and create one more line and we will add the coincidence relation here and now we will use the trim option and trim it and now we will uh, create a three point arc now select this and add the tangency and this is of uh, r 10.13 so give the radius 10.13 which is here given and now we will use the trim option select the trim trim this 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 and now let's see what is the unconstrained So here we will add the dimensions to fix the center which is a 6.37 so here is our uh, sketch is fully constrained now we will close it and give the pad of a 10 mm we will switch to the flat lines and give the pad sorry select the sketch click on the pad and this pad of uh, 10 mm say ok and now we will mirror this feature on the other side and if you see that uh, this uh, is not merging then click on the pad and here refines set true select this and click on the mirror and from the drop down click on select reference and select the exit plane click on ok again select and click on the refine true so you can see that it has been merged and now we will uh, give the fillet of uh, 3mm to the edges so we will select the fillet select this edge and this edge and give the 3 mm click on ok and fillet of a 2 mm to the these two edges so click on the fillet select this 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 and this and give the 2 mm click on ok now at the last we will uh, create these four holes so for this i will select the face and click on the sketch and i will uh, create a rectangle and uh, select all and make it construction so center to center is a 40 so first i will give this uh, 40 mm and uh, this center to center is a 30 so we will give it uh, 
30 and uh, now we will uh, switch to the wireframe and here we will make it uh, dimension of uh, 15 mm so I think it is a symmetric because it is a 40 so 15 15 30 so we can use the symmetricity constraint as well so we will select this point this point this point and this point and now we will uh, create the four holes of a dia 12 so we will select the circle create the four holes and now this is of a diameter 12 so we will select it give the diameter of a 12 mm and select all these four and click on equal and from here we will switch to the flat lines will close so we can use the cut as well as hole operations so we will select the hole and our uh, hole diameter is of a 12 and in condition we will say true all say ok now there is a chamfer C1 so we will give the chamfer of a 1 mm so we will select the chamfer select this edge this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one and let's give the 1 mm let's see how it is looks so it looks okay so you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully converted this part into the 3d model and uh, one feature is a remain which is this one this is the r8 so we will select the face and uh, we will create a three point arc and we will add the vertical relation and we will give it a radius of uh, R8 now its uh, center point is not given so we will keep it uh, approximate so let's uh, give some dimensions let's uh, give the 5 mm and now close the profile close it and remove the material through all so use the pocket tool and from here say it through all say ok so you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully converted this uh, isometric model in FreeCAD we have referred this orthographic drawing and uh, you can see that uh, uh, definitely this uh, part have may be created in some other software but uh, FreeCAD is as powerful like uh, other CAD tool and you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully did it in FreeCAD so this is all about this tutorial thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time